Hi everyone, Bruce here. Bonjour, merci tout le monde d'être passé. On s'en va au cratère Taiko et on s'en va voir les massives lignes inconnues qui passent tout devant ou pratiquement au-dessus du cratère. Hello, I'm back. Taiko Crater. That's what we're going to see, my friends. And we're going to go see some lines going over top of it. Got it a bit clearer in this video and we'll see a bit further down in the video and a lot of cool stuff in this video tomorrow live stream for those of you who have never been or don't know in the morning and in the evening eastern time from 11 a.m to 12 p.m from 8 p.m at night to 9 p.m at night also in the evening i live stream on fridays everyone and anyone is always more than welcome to stop by and join in the fun how the live stream started is because a lot of people wanted to ask me a lot of questions, wanted to interact with me, and well, we're basically a family now. Online, we have a lot of fun. A lot of the same people, always new people, but a lot of the same people come back and we interact and have uh, a lot of laughs and a lot of fun. This is the wall, le mur que vous regardez, supposément pratiquement mille pieds de haut qu'on qu'on peut voir là. Puis imagine cette ligne là, là de large, euh, l'épaisseur à peu près un demi-mille de large. Fait que ça, c'est la grandeur d'un demi-mille de large vu avec mon télescope. Explaining to the people that the wall, if we're seeing it um, about half a mile, I believe, to a mile wide, well, with the range of this telescope, that is how small the width of this black line right here is only about half a mile to a mile wide. So that's um, seen through my telescope how wide half a mile to a mile is. And that's exactly the same size as most of the crafts and UFOs that I'm finding on the surface. So often I have people telling me, Bruce, do you see the squares? Do you see the shadows? Do you see this? Do you see that? Yeah, I see a lot of them. And here's two just for an example, uh, right beside Clavius Crater, where we can see apparent square objects beside there that also have lines running from these squares. And this is what I'm seeing um, in many areas on the surface, many common craters. It's all the, all the common craters. Those are the ones that I'm viewing actually and no need to look at craters that have never been seen. We're finding them with the craters that everyone's looking at. It's, it's not hard to understand, slowing it down. There's Tycho right in the center of the bottom there. It's slowing the footage down, it's getting in close, but you, it's not just that. You need 
an absolute clear footage. It absolutely has to be perfectly um, done, you know, filmed properly. But it all depends on Mother Nature and how um, how a clear of a shot you're going to get of the surface. Here we are going back up, panning over the edge there. And just look at the details that are between um, all the supposed craters that you can see. Because, of course, that Terminator line is showing us so much depth on the surface. Now let's see something very special. I always like doing this. I've descended the exposure. There's no saturation here. It's actually descended also um, a little bit. And watch what we see here. Inside of Clavius Crater, we see these other craters, but look in the darkness, the flashing light, very particular flashing light. We're gonna go see it close up. I'm gonna get a circle up on it so you can see it. It's flashing in the darkness. And this is one of many areas. This is on top of Clavius Crater, just by this crater lit on top and we can see that light appearing. Here's a spectacular view of Tycho Crater and the objects, natural or not, that are running over top. So you have sort of a V shape, right? Or square shape, but offset um, unevenly over top of the corner of Tycho Crater and you have these lines going by, a haze or mist inside of that area with other objects as you stretch your view out in the surrounding area, just uh, an overall amazing uh, area to view and Tycho Crater is ever so white and this is one of the first times that I ever see it so well and it's just waiting for that right time I guess hey eh? just east of Mare Serenitatis of the famous Bessel Crater we see right here Here's Mons Argeus, and look at the beautiful surface terrain. It's where the supposed Apollo 17 would have landed, and they would have done some work by planting several probes to be able to understand the temperatures in that area. Supposedly, their landing there could have affected the moon itself by setting foot there. The floor of Cassini Crater is the next crater I'll get a circle up over, likely as old as the surrounding mare. Um, it has two craters inside near the southwest rim of Cassini is the smaller crater Cassini B and Cassini A is the larger of these two. Now this is Archimedes and we're going to get a clear view with uh, the exposure uh, taken down a lot clearer near the end of the video. The east of Archimedes is the crater Autolycus right here and northeast of Archimedes is the prominent crater Aristillus. Very beautiful blue color that we see all the time and also this odd square over the edge of the crater. We'll progress a little further and there's Plato Crater that we, we just saw and the Montes Tenerife. I don't know if you know what these are. They're just underneath and they have peaks as high as 2.4 kilometers. 